Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Now, we haven't done a mod showcase on the channel in uh, quite a while, a fair few weeks, but I've been wanting to get back into them. I've been trying to find the time, put the time aside to get back into these because uh, due to pandemic life, uh, everything was a bit topsy-turvy for a fair bit of time. But don't worry, we are slowly getting back into the swing of things. Especially when you don't do this for a job and you just do it for a hobby, it's <laughs> it's quite hard to fit it in, you know, with an actual job. But anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, then slap that like button. You know what to do. Now, today we are going to be looking at the rat mod. This is a super cool mod and a fair few of you have actually requested this mod in the past. So if you are one of those people that did request it, it's finally here. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. And uh, this mod uh, is updated currently to 1.16.4. So it's one of the few awesome mods that is in this forge. It's fantastic, really. Um, been going through it majority of the day because it is such a cool and I didn't realize how in-depth this mod actually is now I've set up a few things around here that we're going to cover today just to give you guys an introduction to the rat mod I can't go over everything because we'll be here absolutely ages but we're going to get through the majority of it now with this mod Probably the most prominent thing, apart from the actual rats, is cheese. Now, this mod has a lot of cheese-related things in it. Uh, as you can see over here, I have a cheese crafting table, cheese maker, and then an upgrade block that looks like cheese. And we also have various different types of cheeses in this mod as well. We have, where is it, marbled cheese. We even have like a jack-o'-lantern. We have blue cheese as well and we are going to use the main ingredient this cheese to create a lot of things and we're going to also use it to tame rats and we'll get up get onto that in a bit but to make the cheese what you're going to do is you're going to get a good bucket of milk here you're going to slap that in the cauldron and over time it is going to turn into a block of cheese for you there you go bish bash bosh Awesome, we now have a block of cheese. And if we take it to, well, we'll take it to this crafting table. No, we need a normal crafting table. That's great. The one thing I didn't get out, a standard crafting table. Boom, boom, awesome. So we'll pop this, uh, let's put it in order. I like things neat. We're going to pop that there. We're going to pop that there. And it's going to give us four cheeses. And those cheeses we're going to use to tame rats and we're going to need quite a lot because as the wiki for this mod explains you're going to need a minimum of like 10 per rat and then it's going to be anywhere up to about 15 after that or well 15 in total so an extra five to tame that rat but once you do that guys you then have an army of rats which you can then go through and upgrade now, to make this cheese crafting table for the rats, which you are going to need. So, this is the rat crafting, t rat, blah, 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 rat crafting table. Place the item to be crafted here, and then it's going to pop it out over here. Input required items. Awesome. You get the gist. Ooh, requires a rat with a crafting upgrade above the table to function. To, cr to craft that table, you're going to need a lot of block of cheeses so was that eight and then a crafting table in the middle and obviously to create the block you saw how early i broke it down you're going to need four of those placed like that and it's going to give you a block of cheese now over here we have a curdling station so you can pop as much milk into here and it's going to go through and it's going to upgrade or well not upgrade but turn that into blocks of cheese for you. So I've got a few more buckets of milk here that we're just going to go pop into the curdling station here. Okay, let's see if we can pop that in. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. Now we're going to click down here. And there you can see it's already filling up with nice, nice blocks of cheese. So let's get some of these bad boys out. 
Uh, we'll wait for one or two more because, as I said, we're going to need a fair few blocks of cheese to go through and tame these rats. Well, I guess we're in creative, so we don't need that many, actually. But you get the gist. You get the gist. Okay, so let's pop those in there. Let's get all that out. Lovely stuff. So here is a rat cage as well. Um, and then we've got some rat traps here. This is the um, upgrade station for the rats. And then this is a barrel of fish. Just some cool items in this mod. Now in here I have all the mobs for this mod. Now if you're thinking, well Kieran that doesn't look like the right amount. That is because in this version they have separated the rat mod and the Ratlantis mod. So those are two different things now. You can obviously play with them together. And we are going to look at Ratlantis in the next mod review. So we'll go over that next time. But these are the mobs we have in the standard overworld rat mod. We have standard rat, pived piper, plague doctor, black death, plague cloud. We have the plague beast. We have Rat King and we have a Demon Rat. Sounds terrifying. And we also have the Cheese Staff, the Rat Radius, the Rat Whistle, Rat Flute, Gilded Rat Flute, and then the Black Death Scythe, which is dropped by the Black Death Dude, Doctor, Man, Person, Thing. Alright, so let's get out a rat and let's see if we can go ahead and tame one of these guys so I can show you how to upgrade. Oh, he's got a little Christmas hat. No, where you going? Bro? Okay, let's see. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you take the cheese. You take the cheese. I don't want, I don't want to eat the cheese. I want, no, no. There we, come on, come on, come on. Okay, is it, did I kill him? Did I kill the guy? I killed the little guy. That, that did, oh, oh well. There we go. We got some raw rat meat. Lovely stuff. Let's see if I can let's see if I can actually tame one of these. Okay, so what I was doing wrong, I was trying to hit them with it. Uh, you just gotta throw it on the ground and then they go for it and they are loving it. I've already got one pet, so I'm really trying to get two more. Uh, I can't remember which one of these is mine. I really wanted Christmas. There we go. So as soon as that heart flashes up, fish bash bosh, you're in for a winner. Uh, okay, I think this is the last one. Oh, no, that, that one's my mate as well. Are you my mate? You are my mate, and you are also my mate. So I now have a little bit of an army of rats going on here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to upgrade them. Oh, well, we're going to try anyway. Uh, and you have so many options for upgrading your rats. Uh, one, I want to do that one. Um, that one seems pretty awesome. And that looks like a... From afar, I might be watching too much Mandalorian, but that looked like a Mandalorian helmet to me. It's a water thing. It's a, But it's, you know... You, I'm sure you guys know what I was on about. I'm sure you do. All right, so what's this one? Uh, festive. Love that. Um, There was also a dragon one I was reading about. So I, I want the dragon. Uh, there we go. Okay, awesome stuff. So... Upgrading these guys, you should have to just right click on them and then add the upgrade into here. So, boom, yes. Okay, so I now have an evil rat. He looks pretty gosh damn awesome. Does he look any bigger? He's like a festive evil rat. So he's now got that going for him. Uh, let's put let's put some of this in here. So he's good. this guy's just going to keep munching away. We're going to give him a lot of that stuff. Uh, let's let's make this guy the TNT dude. Yes, awesome. And should, should we give him like? Can we give him like a little hat? Oh, this guy's so cool. This is a cool rat. So what uh, can we do? Follow me. Hunt animals. Gather items. Harvest. Transport items. Let's do hunt monsters. Surely a TNT dude's going to be good at hunting monsters. Um, I think it's still slightly in development in this version because look at the hats. They don't look quite right. Um, so this is the Wanderer, so we're going to give this guy the ability to go out and hunt animals for me. So you can go out and do that, bro. Where's my other guy? Where's, where's, where's the other ratty dude? So go, go, be free, hunt animals. Um, what the heck is this down here? Is that a llama? Um, okay, we've lost one dude. I'm going to swap out your upgrade 
for the dragon because that, that'd be far cooler. Look at that. Tell me that is not cool. You can have your own pet mini rat dragon thing. It's epic. Uh, there's no other word about it apart from epic. So you, there's no, I don't think there's any limit that I'm, I read about anyway to how many pet rats you can have. So guys, go crazy. It's really easy to get the cheese. So it's just hard to sort of tame the rats. They're a bit picky about it. They do try to avoid players. Um, so yeah, that's why I had to go away and do it. Uh, this guy loves me. I like this. This is amazing. you have got some mad health on him as well. Uh, what's, what's your health? Mad health! Okay, love that. And you can also add little hats onto them, as you saw earlier. It's just not very great at the moment. Um, ooh, instantly tames rat. Really? Really? I had that the whole time? Damn it. Alright. So let's try some of the rat staffs and see if these are any decent. Okay, so hello. I'm gonna... Staff is now bound to rat. Awesome. Stuff, yes, love it. Now, do my bidding. Um, whatever. So, we've got that going on now. Uh, dragon wing from the rat, obviously. So, let's get rid of this. We can get we can, we can get rid of all this stuff now. And um, we can throw that there. And now, let's get out some of the awesome mobs from this. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Deposit items in chests from the south. Set home point for rat to chest. Yeah, we'll set that here. That's that rat's home point now. I love that. So, if they go wandering off, have no fear, they will go back to their home point. Alright, so let's get out some of these awesome mobs. And I don't know why it did it in that order. Alright, Pied Piper. I don't feel like the, the rat's overly... Uh, okay, that guy loves him. Oh, uh, look, we've already got one rat coming up in here. Do my rats look bigger? I feel like my rats look bigger. Yes, this guy is luring them all up here for me. To make friends with. Uh, let's 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 make like let's give him loads of cheese. Guys, no, where are you going? Mr. Pied Piper, dude! Come back here. No, nope, he's he's on a he's on an adventure. We'll leave we'll leave him to do whatever the hell he's doing. So here we have a plague doctor, and you can wear the plague doctor masks, which is pretty gosh damn awesome. I love it. So he's gonna go off and do some plaguey things. And we're gonna I think this is Black Death. Oh no, this is a plague cloud. So a cloud of rat Plague death thing. And it's nice. Plague Doctor sorted that one right out. Good work, dude. Now, what do we have here? So, that's Black Death. Let's go for Plague Beast Storm. Okay. D d n did I accident? How did I, did I spawn in two at once? How did I manage that? Okay. So, there we have Black Death uh, with like 400 HP. And then we have a Plague Beast with 40. Bit of a beast. Don't you dare hurt my dragon. One, don't you, don't be hurting this dude, he, he did nothing to you. Okay, I don't know where quite Black Death has gone. So Black Death is down here being absolutely attacked by everything. Everything hates Black Death, is pretty, it's pretty much the gist of this. He is slaughtering everything though, my goodness, look at that plague rat. No, it's turning all the rats into plague rats, that's not good. This place is now overrun, overrun, overrun by plague beasts. So that's why you don't really want the Plague Doctor and the Pied Piper to mix, because he's only going to lure in rats for that guy to turn into these monstrosities. Look at them. They're flipping awful. Oh gosh, is he going to kill that Plague Doctor? Oh, the Plague Doctor dead. He's very, very, very much going to die. Oh, the Plague Beast is going to get him good. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, what else do we have? Um, we have... The Rat King with 200 HP. Uh, doesn't look very king-like, I must say. I was expecting when I spawned this in. Yeah, he launches rats as well as, like, projectile weaponry. Um, which is just madness. It's just, quite frankly, madness. Uh, awesome, but madness. Now we have, finally, the Demon Rat. Um, essentially, my pet rat. <laughs> is, is what I've made. Is He's over here. He's tri no, no, that's the dragon one. Maybe the other one died. Nope, nope, you better run from me. These are pretty cool, though. I like them. Yet again, tameable, just how I did earlier. Okay, see, that's not my one. Can't do it. Where's the, where's the king gone? The king's chilling down there with some salmon, and he's actually drowning. The, king, <laughs> the king's actually drowning, so that's not great. So this is another amazing thing. This opens up a world of possibilities for us 
to do more mob battles with these. So guys, if you want to see mob battles with any of these, do let me know, because I think that'd be pretty awesome. Um, so I'm hyped for that, especially like the plague, the Black Death dude. That'd be sick to do a mob battle with that guy. Or like the Plague Beasts, they're pretty awesome. But guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of this mod showcase where we're going to go visit Ratlantis. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. You guys are going to love it. I promise you. But anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.